Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of Expert Difficulty. We're trying to beat the game um, without having played it before. And boy boy, we're up for a treat. Today it's all about Gosenberg border crossing. I hope, sincerely so, that I have not made the wrong decision by going here. Couple of updates, just logistically we're on the treasure of the ancients, trying to get that uh, sorted. We're still training. Um, I kept Heron besides Pervert. He's now working the tanning rack, I suppose, as long as we need him. And then at some point we're just going to let him go. Um, Dilly G has made his master in Tinkerer, which is good. We have upgraded the entirety of the camp to the maximum and other than that not really much changed minor uh, stuff i got a new recipe which i wanted to try giving us new belt accessories which let the weapon enchantments proc more often and i figured that's a cool way of letting the misty oil which deals like that extra damage proc 100 percent of the time instead of 50 percent and yeah you can see jp kind of on the way uh, to making it to level 8 so is Ender's uh, Sanders so they will potentially be the first ones uh, that reach it other than that really no, oh well one one more small update um, I think over here no that's the wrong one here um, I got all of uh, the restorations when you're finishing an area you can get a restoration and that allows you to more efficiently repair your stuff which in return is an actual good thing because uh, the raw materials are just lasting for a longer period of time so i actually appreciate that and now let's go to gosenberg into the brotherhood's fortress and start the storyline here Mercenaries, members of the Brotherhood, thank you for heeding our call in such numbers. We will need all the help we can get for this mission. The Broker Council has asked us to track down who murdered one of their own, Willa Ald Hovendor. Mm -hmm. The Broker is dead? Good riddance. Shut up! We can't hear anything! All those who wish to be involved in this investigation are welcome. The reward will be commensurate with that of a mission offered by the council itself. Franny will register all companies who wish to take part. Oh, a little bit of a friendly challenge here. A word of warning. This mission is not for the faint-hearted. The body of Broker Willa Old Hovendorp was not the only one found in the alley. There were also around a dozen of our brothers who had been tasked with her protection. The assailants left without a trace. But we do know that they were well organized and outnumbered our men. They were probably bandits, rebels, or mercenaries, perhaps. So, are you still interested? Very well. Sure. Your company is now registered. The residents of Gosenberg will answer any queries, so remember to question them. Some may be reluctant to confide in you, but persevere, and you will find a way to convince them. Okay, let's ask. It would ask. be advisable for you to train more before taking on this investigation. Competition between the companies will be fierce. Well, we can't upgrade anything because we haven't uh, gotten a level since. Can earn a little bit of uh, gold at the side here, but that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, you can see I prepared a bit of food. This time I don't want to run out. <coughs> Excuse me. This time I don't want to run out uh, out of food. Okay, far away mercenaries and a lot of other mercenaries that are listening carefully. Members of the Broker Council. The broker British. Shut up. All those Rani will register all. Okay, well, that is the headquarter of the Brotherhood. 
Interesting. In which case, let's just explore the region of Gosenberg. I have no idea where to start, but I'm pretty sure we're going to find out very soon where to go. And uh, this time, let's use something that uh, actually reduces our fatigue. I got this wonderful meal, Culture Shock, which is like a full-fledged hardcore meal. Has it all. Good, and we got uh, one of our first artifacts, Narciss Bow, uh, which is a level 9 bow. It takes a lot of effort to draw the bow, but its uh, mm, stopping power is second to none. That's probably due to the string carefully woven from the f fiber, strangely reminiscent of a bear's fur. Um, it has a massive amount of damage, deals 60 to 100 percent dex damage to a target. If Mark of Her Own is applied to the target, consumes the status. If not, applies Mark of Narcess. Mark of Her Own, when the status is consumed, the attacker generates two Valor. Mark of Narcess, when the status is consumed, the attacker executes an attack of opportunity. Okay, well that is interesting. If Mark of Her Own is applied to the target, uh, consume its status. If not, apply Mark of Narcess. So, Essentially, it's flip-flopping and you're getting Valor points as well as attacks of opportunity. That looks like a fantastic bow, to be uh, entirely honest. Let's get the other treasure of the Ancient. Unfortunately, as so often, we're far away this time, even two levels, to actually carry that bow. But, but our time will come. Not sure about these guys here, by the way. We got here first. Get out of Grimnir, or it will be the last place you ever visit. I this don't. Investigation's reward is ours. Um, let's fight them. Level nine. Okay, I think we can take them on. I was afraid we might ending up to fight, uh, fighting level uh, 10, 11 or 12. Level 9 is harsh uh, though, that's a lot. Looting, experience, critical damage increase. Okay. And... Oh wow, they come in numbers. Holy. Eight versus 13. I think I need to get rid of um, our servants. It seems that they are increasing the size of uh, these fights. Although they potentially should not, it appears like as if they would be doing that. Oh, well, that's a good one. All right. Starting down here. Everybody gets orderly. Weak in the wrong door. And start hitting them. These are our direct competitors. Right, interesting. Good. Um, I mean, look. 
This here should be a home run. One, two, three, four. Five. Yeah, I think that was very, uh, very good. So, fair enough. Just need to let this, uh, need to get rid of this guy. That's a two for one. And this will slow him down so much so that he can't really engage with us. Instead, we're moving down here to the others. Yeah, waste a turn for him. Good, time to get these two down. Eight hit points. Um, I'll tell you what. This kills him. Almost dead. Little sprint with another knife. And he's de facto dead. It's just... He doesn't know it yet. Gotta get these two. Good. Fantastic. Let's shift this hodlum here back. That also means next turn he can't really attack, which is good. deal with the marauder we got valor points to spend he's stabilizing him taking him and we're just waiting here for now bear can't do the same so we're just going to move over here and essentially are blocking that way a very solid hit can you thank you uh. 
Let's just stay over here. This poacher is um, poking the bear. Shouldn't be doing that. Never poke the bear. We go that's the triple I was looking for you even helped us for 10 damage we could re-engage and get a Valor no problem that's a really decent trade bleeds and is poisoned and we're continuing to stay here we're still okay on the Valor points good and yeah, now we need to deal with the poison but there are ways to go about it Charges over here. There we go, nice little bloodshed. And it's now 100% trigger. He's always dealing extra damage to adjacent targets. Super good. Moves up. Optimize that a bit. There we go. Unfortunately, that is not a guaranteed kill. If I engage in melee combat now, that mm, wouldn't look too good. Could use it together with galvanizing troops, but I don't think that that is worth it. Rather move up here and start hitting the archer. Very good. Easy, Roby doesn't care.
Miss Kratis still needs to become a bit quicker. It's noticeable that she is slower than the others. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. The AoE of a Berserker is just relentless. There's no other way to put it. It is crazy damage. Okay, it seems we have eliminated one of our direct competitors. Typically not our style, but I take it that they have attacked us. So, what are we finding here? Priestesses of the Light, Citizen, and a little bit of wood cutting. Let's start with the obvious. By the way, fun fact um, our prisoner escaped, uh, so my concern that the fights would become too big because of them um, are unwanted. Citizen Pietra, the choice is simple. Either hand over the timber the Church of Glosenberg bought, or be charged with roguery. I shall do neither, Priestess. The amount your church paid wasn't even half of what I asked for. Your prices are outrageous. The church paid you a fair sum based on the going rate in Tiltron. In Tiltron? That county full of yokels? The cost of living in Gosenberg is much higher. If you factor in the cost of labor... You use slaves. Don't try and tell me you're stifled by production costs. <laughs> well, he has a point. Even if he would be using slaves... Uh, he needs to feed them, and typically, if the cost of uh, living are that high, they won't get a single splinter until I'm paid. If you can get them to cough up my asking price, I'll pay you the same wages as my bodyguard. This timber will be used to build the Gosenberg Cathedral. Taking part in this sacred work is a reward. Either Citizen Pietra gives us that timber, or we will drag him before the broker's court. I'll admit that feeding and housing slaves isn't cheap. That much is true. And their timber is far superior to that found in Tiltron. All right, the church will make an effort. The priestess saw reason. All those crowns spent on... Well, easy enough. A little bit of a fight here, but that conflict was not a problem. Help! Help me, mercenaries! Heathens! They're attacking us! Hand over the emblem, Inquisitors! This insult to Alazar must be destroyed! You would destroy a sacred depiction of the divine, all-seeing eye! Blasphemy! Mer Stop squealing like pigs, Inquisitors! Mercenaries, we want this emblem. Name your price. Hmm. Both of you seem to be quite a bit of uh, a stinker. I don't uh, like either faction. Inquisitors are of the church. And these guys here... Wow. Large battles. 3, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Ooh. Well, we're in... in um, 
gets the doctor's mask, gets the trumpet. Yeah, we're going to engage and kill the Inquisitors because our uh, troop doesn't like the church too much. They have an aversion against that type of authority. Lots and lots and lots of enemies here. Massive fight. Later you get into the game, it seems the bigger the fights become. Okay, so what are we going to do? Sentry stands over there. So our back is sort of covered, we're letting the others do that. Okay, our job will be to push into the zealots here and take those guys out, that's the idea. Two, three. Can get four. All right, orderly. Sprint over here and start to engage. And get rid of his guard. Nice, our fortification oil procs over and over, which is good. That means we're taking less damage. Be sh careful, there are a lot of enemies that are taking their turn next. Uh, but I want a lot of valor, valor points as well, so we gotta be careful here. Shooting the enemies back, just basically keeping them at range. Oh, that it would have been great if that line of attacks would have happened against Namri because the Zealot would have taken so much counter attacks.
All right, moving them a little bit further back as well. Just keeping that flank. Okay, so Jim, Jim moves up here. These two clowns are starting to bleed. Then we're hitting. And then we're putting ourselves back into position. Jim took a nasty hit there. We need to clear up this flank. He's almost down. Okay, that flank is clear and we're full Veiler for the first time. That's a great opening there. One that I cannot miss. Baby, behave. That was a nice hit. <laughs> 68 points. Ah, not quite. We haven't. We're just missing that like one extra hit there. Opening the the line here. And so far that worked out very well. Yep, that worked out very well. Jim is burning, which isn't too great, but the rest is okay. Roby needs healing, but on the bright side, he has shared uh, the fire with everyone else. These two need to die next.
Alright, that was a great hit. That's the movement reset we needed. Problem is these guys are tougher than I would have anticipated. Hmm. Well, not perfect, but we still got him down reasonably well. good mm, unfortunately not a kill would have hoped we would have killed him let's take him off that's okay because now we can apply vengeance moves up Very solid kill. Good hit. Solid hit, but not a kill. Okay, good battle, good knock. to remain unseen but we almost ruined everything our mission was to steal this emblem discreetly but the inquisitors spotted us immediately they protected this piece of quartzite as if it were the eye itself thanks to you we can destroy it and rectify the harm broker hovendorp caused our king when she commissioned the ederanian clergy to make this blasted thing okay the inquisitors are on our side mm, okay not good I should really try to understand who is fighting against whom. It's not always clear. They they are using various names for the different factions. They, the game could do a better job making it easier to follow whose faction everybody is on. Good, enough cooking. Let's dismantle these things, by the way. All of them level 8, which means we're decently under-leveled for what we're trying to do. But it feels that we have been decently under-leveled for quite a while now. Almost level 8. Good there. Seems to be no real 
like one mission here it's just you need to go through all of those little side missions and oh my gosh what a nice little what a nice large town actually oh district market all right cool it's the first town which is so large that there are even bandits with it within it as soon as the broker's effigy is ready, I'll... Want to do business? The death of Will of the Witch will bring you good luck for sure. I won't mourn the death of a broker. The people's fellowship is right. Yeah, we need. We don't need more food. I'm just we seeing if there is... almost everything we need. But if you want help, we'd appreciate it. Okay, there you go. We have almost everything we need. But if you want help, ah, oh, perfect. Stick around. The effigy will be ready in no time. I'll give it a head that's just as ugly as the I placed the effigy on the pile. I don't know if the people's fellowship killed Willa. Oh, okay, cool. You earned the honor of uh, setting it on fire. Why am I getting into trouble with the guards again? What? Hey, I haven't done anything. Halt, guards. Surround these peasants and do not let anyone through. This pyre is an act of rebellion against the Broker Council and an insult to the late Broker Al Pervendor. Everyone involved must be arrested and put in chains, starting with you, mercenaries. Everyone involved must be arrested and... But we must stay alert, as a seditious group named the People's Fellowship roams this neighborhood. Stay. Take my advice. Don't hang around these parts. Here, even the priests from the Church of the Saving mm -hmm. Eye are suspicious. It seems I'm always coming onto the wrong side uh, of, uh, of the conflict. The Magnificent. Last year we got back too late to see the arena clash. This year... I made sure not the broker's death is tragic. I feel s all right. Arena clash. That's exactly what I was hoping for. No sea is too rough for the magnificent. We travel far and wide to offer our customers the most valuable goods in all the realms. Okay, so apparently we need to interview or question each of uh, these. I'm wondering if we're doing a good job. We're 9 out of 100, so clearly we're not doing the best job. This is huge marketplaces, but we're not purchasing anything. Midnight Garden. Well, well, mercenaries. <laughs> I wanted to be a. Hey, you! Stop pestering my friends. You'll drive our patrons away with your macabre question. Are you looking for someone in particular? Hey, you! You'll drive our patrons away. This is a place for merrymaking and honest work. <laughs> merrymaking and honest work. It's a brothel. The other trackers think that I'm out following the ghost pack. I mustn't ruin my war paint or they'll suspect something. Sorry, I don't work here. I only arrived in... <laughs> All right, even the trackers uh, want a little bit of, of the good, sweet, sweet loving. Go on, I won't judge. You can even buy chains, that's funny. Hey, you, you'll drive our patrons away with... If you don't mind, I'd rather you took a bath first. <laughs> hey you, you'll drive our patron. 
Okay, it's the only game I've ever seen where they implemented a brothel and you can't even, you know, use it. Midnight Gardens. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. What else does this town has to offer? I'm pretty sure I'm missing like heaps of stuff by not being able to see all of the secrets. I don't know what's going on at the Hoven Dort Mine. With these ore supplies, Cabana wants me to renew. Good. I could. I suppose I could. Um, uh, I could smith something, but we've already gotten like the journeyman stuff. I don't know how to get the higher uh, smithing stuff. We are a. Our blacksmith is still journeyman rank. Okay, never mind. Then I know how we're getting it. We need to be a master smith. Yeah, I'll level that as time as time goes by. There are still plenty of first timer bon uh, bonuses, but there's no point for me leveling it now. If if um, we can't even wear rim steel yet, there is the informant. Finally. Hopefully, it'll put you on the right track. Hopefully, it'll put you on the right track. Good couple of uh, pieces of info that is helpful I've gotten something so for you worth helping me, eh? <laughs> Have a nice glass of wine to oh yeah we gave that guy 200 uh, long 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 time ago you're the ones who got my cousin across the border by Jerry when he told me how much he promised you Oh, I hope you're ready to spend it. Cool, we got some more d uh, dishes. Sales price in, uh, of trade goods increased by 10%. That's interesting. Uh, run speed increased by 15%. Uh, purchase price of trade goods, uh, goods reduced by 20%. So essentially if you go and um, build a couple of uh, brokers tables and you're just running around, uh, you can make money out of uh, that. Life in Gossenberg is much too quiet. Let's see, is there any legendary um, fight here? So I'll take the tome. Okay. And I was hoping for kind of the uber boss, uh, because if you get a bounty of uh, on their head, then you already know where they are. Good. So let's do. Uh, let's finish. Let's finish this here real quick, and off we go. A bit of rim steel for good measure. Yeah, we got enough of all of that. We're just going to camp here for a moment.
Danger level is 80% in the middle of the city. Are you kidding me? Well, you know what? We're just going to spend a night in the tavern then. F you. Potentially all of uh, the ruffians that are running around here. Got my cousin across the border. Okay, let's try this again. So, we have a couple of ways and a couple of leads, but it's already 50 minutes in, so I think this is a great time for a cliffhanger. It's taken a while, but it's definitely a good cliffhanger, and next time we're going to explore that city, and with it, uh, hopefully a few more leads. If you are a Gosenberg fan and like big medieval cities, uh, then ring the bell, aka the like button, and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye, guys.